Dylan from Thought Company in Columbus, Ohio here, and we're talking about the 1972 Triumph Rickman Matisse. Meet them. So what's interesting about this is the Rickman brothers in the 70s, I guess probably late 60s as well, would make these custom frames. So you can see the frame itself, and you can, you can kind of check out the craftsmanship and the welding. This is 70s as well, too, so uh, this is pretty, pretty legitimate welding for the time period. But you've got the highlighted kind of bare metal, sometimes they're nickel-plated frames. And then you just have, you plot your Triumph engine in here. So this is a 72 750 uh, Triumph. You still have right side shift, you know, in 75 Triumph switched over. This is clearly a Bonneville. It started out, the engine did, because it has two carbs. So we have two concentric carbs. It's sort of a period correct, like full on custom. What's interesting about this one especially is you have street tires. So a lot of these were off roady bikes. Uh, there are actually a couple of them here at the Meekum auction that have Steve McQueen associated with them. They're sort of the Steve McQueen model. Steve McQueen is famous for riding around on one of these that was green and more of the off-road model. So this is kind of a street tracker version. You take a lot, you basically swap the frame out and take a lot of your Triumph parts. So because this was meant, this one in particular was meant for the street, you have a taillight, you have a headlight, you have all your regular controls and all your gauges that just came straight off a of 72. It's interesting because 72, and I don't know, because we don't have any of the um, like badging from the actual Triumph 72, but halfway through 72, the Triumph Bonneville switches to a, well, the Triumph 650, or switches to a five-speed. It's interesting that they said 750. The 750 engine and the 650 engine, in 72, it would have been a 650. So either they've taken a different engine or they've... Um, uh, boarded out bigger. There is a kit basically. It's it's so similar that you can make it to a 750 easily. I notice you have heel toe shifting. Very very unusual for the time. Uh, like I said, it's right side shift, but this kind of bike to have heel toe shifting is just so weird. But that tells me that's a kind of an interesting clue that this guy actually did ride it because he made a choice for riding. That there's nothing vanity about that. Doesn't he didn't do that because it looked cool. Uh, you can tell the, the headers are ceramic coated, and then you have this stainless exhaust. That's going to make them, you know, look that way forever. That's a nice touch. Um, this is just a really interesting bike. It's interesting to me because I like that all the touches, all the things that have been changed about it, are personalized for someone who intended to ride it. And I think that's very cool, especially for like a period correct, whatever we're calling this, street tracker. So stuff like this I think is pretty cool. And because it's not Steve McQueen, because it's not the standard Rickman Matisse, I don't think it'll go for a lot of money. It does have a reserve. Who knows? We'll see. That's part of the fun of the auction.